Actimra is an immunosuppressive medication used to treat the symptoms of moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis. The medication was first approved by the FDA in 2010. The drug's been marketed to doctors as not increasing the risk of heart failure, stroke, and lung disease, which competing drug makers admit their rheumatoid arthritis medication actually does. The problem is, Actimra does apparently carry the same risks, and the manufacturers have misled the FDA and doctors in order to sell its drug. According to the news organization STAT, which specializes in medical journalism, Patients taking Actimra are 50% more likely to suffer a heart attack or a stroke than patients using Embrel, a competitive uh, drug. In fact, STAT analyzed more than 500,000 reports of adverse events during treatment with rheumatoid arthritis drugs and found clear evidence that the risk of heart attacks, strokes, heart failure, and other conditions were as high or higher for patients with Actimra than they were with patients with competing drugs. The failure of Actimra to carry a proper warning has led doctors to overly prescribe this medication to individuals who are susceptible to heart and lung injuries. And it's led doctors to fail to monitor these patients more closely for potential harm as they ordinarily would do. Drug makers Roche and Genetech, the manufacturers of Actimra, are now facing thousands of potential lawsuits Plaintiffs' lawyers claim that Roche and Genetech failed to properly test Actimra before placing it on the market. They failed to warn doctors and failed to warn patients that the medication was just as likely to cause serious injuries as all the competitor drugs. Concealed evidence of the dangers of the drug from the government and public was one of the claims. Misrepresentation of safety of the medication in its marketing material and publication, that was one of the claims. The truth is, it pays to understand what dangers any drug might cause before you take that drug. Don't just take the word of the doctor, do your research, find out for yourself before you start taking a medication, especially if that medication has not been on the market for more than 10 years.